Yes. <laughs> how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. It's been a minute since we recorded one of these. Yeah. Um, I'm actually really, really stoked. Uh, even though I pushed it. A yeah. Days. She wanted to do it on Thursday night. Or, or Wednesday I've been wanting night. to do it since like Monday. Yeah. And every night he goes, we'll do it tonight. And then it's nighttime. He goes, oh, I forgot. I'm tired. Yeah. We'll do it tomorrow. Look, I work really hard, okay? <laughs> Making videos for these fine folks. <laughs> I'm trying to do the same thing. Yeah. You ever, you ever, you ever use TikTok? I'm going to be real honest. It's not my jam. I hate TikTok. Yeah. I think it's, it's trash garbage. And so, uh, you know, but every once in a while, uh, I'll come across uh, a TikTok that feels like a Vine. You remember Vine? Vine was funny. Vine was also not my jam. <laughs> and I was in college when it was, like, huge. So you'd think I would like it. But can I explain my annoying philosophy on it? Yes. So when I'm on the computer, if I'm not, like, watching something from just, like, scrolling through my websites... I like to have music on in the background. So back when I was on Tumblr, also in college, <laughs> embarrassingly enough, uh, I never used to watch the videos on it because I'd be annoyed that I'd have to turn my music off and watch the video. So like short form videos like that are not not usually my, my personal thing. But when we're doing this stuff, it's fine. <laughs> but. No, you know what? Never mind. We're not going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, we're done. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, so I just, uh, you know, I actually haven't watched this video. Um, this is a compilation of uh, TikToks that are actually funny. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, you see, TikTok is full of cringe. Elderly people lip syncing. Shout out to my ex. And like not safe for life content. Bark, bark, bark. Ooh, bark, bark. You ever seen, you ever like, I, I, I. I've seen some stuff on TikTok that is unspeakable. So uh, let's just watch these uh, these actually funny TikToks, shall we? Yeah. Well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> oh my god, it's Timothy Cha Omelet! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. That was, good. That was really, really good. That was good. <laughs> Cha Omelet! Timothy Chalamet, may I just say, great in Dune. Mm -hmm. Dune is a great film. He was pretty good in the other movie, Don't Look Up. He played. Oh like, yeah, I forgot he was in that. Yeah, he, he like actually played like a funny character. He didn't seem like someone too serious. I haven't seen too much of his stuff, but he strikes me as a very serious young actor. So it was nice to see him. There are a few things more cringe than than a young actor who's like I'm serious, you know. Yeah. Or Steven Seagal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my little sister wrote my turtle a no. Oh my god! It says I love you, Amber. You have been a part of my life for so long, and I just want to say thank you. And she's reading it. <laughs> so, so does the turtle write like read backwards? I yeah, I don't know. I don't think a little sister wouldn't realize yeah, writing on glass means true. reading backwards. Is she though? <laughs> Is she though? <laughs> also, uh, not one to judge, but clean your fish tank, bro. <laughs> I mean, you got algae growing, like, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Is that what turtles like to live in? Okay, this is my impersonation of an Austrian father, and he's making breakfast for his son, but everything he does is still way too sexy. Maxi Pat, come into kitchen. Daddy make egg for baby. You want scramble? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> why, why is everything sexy for, for an Austrian? I don't, I don't, I don't know. understand. Come into kitchen. Daddy make egg for baby. You want scramble? <laughs> That's, I mean, it's, it's off the wall. It's yeah. a little weird. I wonder if that, that kid has an Austrian father or something. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that could check out. Yeah. Wow. 
You've outdone yourself. It's good, isn't it's it? It's so good, yeah. <laughs> it's really you. good, yeah, of course. Nina likes my drink. I love it. I never got into the tiny hand thing. I thought it was too, like, ooh, look how quirky and funny I am. Yeah. No. It's a little uh, uh, Yeah. Not, I don't like that one. Not my jam, either. Like, she's like, oh my god, my mom doesn't realize that I'm holding a tiny hand in my hand, and then I'm using the tiny hand to hold a straw. Like, <laughs> give yeah. me a break. <laughs> no one gives me enough attention. Have a normal hair color. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> I love it. Open your eye. Think something stupid. Okay, now think of me. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> That's something we would do. Yeah. It's day nine of quarantine, and they're making a gender reveal cake. Nobody's pregnant. <laughs> How do you feel about gender reveals, honey? I don't know. I mean, my my mom, when she had both my brother and me, she didn't want to know. She wanted to be surprised. Yeah, so. that's what, that was how my mom was, too. Seems <sighs> like an excuse to destroy things, mess up the environment, and again, get attention. Yeah. <laughs> As if being it's, pregnant doesn't give you enough attention. I don't really care. It does. I mean, you know, I think you're right. It, it's more about, like, attention yeah. than anything else. And uh, I remember, like, my parents... I'm the oldest of five kids, okay? So my parents uh, didn't want to know for the first four, right? But the problem was that it was me and then my sister and then two brothers. And my sister was like, I need a sister. I need a sister. And so my parents were like, okay, we're going to find out what the what the gender of the last kid is. And I just remember, like, there was... <laughs> Oh, no. There was like a, an ultrasound and my mom was like, okay, kids, we have an ultrasound and we know the gender. And the ultrasound was literally like, if this is the legs and this is the butt, it was just the ultrasound looked like this. And then there was a little thing <laughs> sticking up. <laughs> and, my, and my mom was like, there's one leg, there's the other leg, and that's, and my sister just went, no, and ran away. <laughs> it was like, no, I want a sister. She didn't get a sister. That's great. That's great. Your first impression of Ephraim was his penis. <laughs> That's my family. It really is. Though. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love your family. Oh, my family is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Making a PowerPoint for school. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That was that the funnest so part. Badass. That is so badass. I remember doing that. But my but when I was in school making PowerPoints, we had like uh power, like Office XP or mm -hmm. before. Like we had old versions of Office. And so they they had like transitions, but they were like you know, like boop 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 boop, you know, like mm -hmm. it would it was like sections, like five sections and they'd like fold away from each other. And that was it. You didn't get like those kind of like Wow. That was a good sound. That was good. That was I'm I'm proud of that one. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is good. I was wondering how, like, they were getting the face to flicker in and out like that, but that was a thing on the phone and not in, oh, the, yep. in the app. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> and a splash of cranberry juice. No. Yeah. That's not the way that rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ever had a, a judgmental parent when you're drinking i my parents like didn't really drink when i was of the age where you're where you drink you know mm -hmm. um but i had i was in a long-term relationship and it was almost that exact situation where i was just like i want to get drunk because i'm at camp and i just poured like a, it wasn't vodka it was uh whiskey 
And it was just a big glass of whiskey with ice. Um, And I said, it was on the rocks. It's on the rocks. (laughs) Yeah. 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 You know, and then you get judged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you play a game of Yahtzee and you kick ass and everyone's pissed at you because you're drunk and you're a sore winner. (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah. My, my issue is definitely quality over quantity when it comes to drinking. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't, yeah. I've gotten pretty sick uh, after mixing some bad, some bad combos. Like, you know, I, you think you're invincible and you have one tequila shot and you ruin Thanksgiving yeah, the next day. Your family hasn't let you forget that. No, they all think <laughs> I'm an alcoholic and it's like, no, I had like two drinks that just didn't sit well together. I don't drink much at all anymore. No. Not, it's not my jam. I do it socially. That's about it. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And it's mostly like, I'll have a beer mm-hmm. or two, but like mixed drinks, not, it's not my thing. Anymore. I like a good rum and Coke. I like, I like a uh, Jack and Coke or a whiskey sour. That's my, that's my jam. Whiskey but ruins me. But I don't do it anymore because it's I just, ugh. <laughs> my first, uh, not my first drink, but the first time I got drunk was, uh, Fireball, mm-hmm. chased with grape juice, and it was disgusting. <laughs> and then I took a shower. <coughs> oh my god! And performed the hell out of Pinball Wizard by The Who. Wow! Both parts, Daltrey and uh, Townsend. Pinball Wizard. No, nope, that's, that's Jukebox that Hero. <laughs> Should I tell the story about my first drinking experience? <laughs> yes. I think I want to save that for some time later. <laughs> you don't get to know yet. Wah-ha. Here's the difference between how my girlfriend and I view money. I used coupons and got all of this stuff right here for $12. And what did you spend your $12 on? I got four things of breadsticks. What are you going to do with all that bread? I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Is that you and me? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm not a couponer, though. I don't yeah. coupon. Uh, I probably should, though. Save money. Yeah. Save money. I, I'm yeah. very cheap. We watched one episode of that extreme couponing show when I was in college. I don't remember why. It's part of my pop culture class. Uh, and it was insane. Like, mm-hmm. this woman packed, like huge carts full of stuff and paid like paid like 12 cents or something like Mm -hmm. or maybe even the store owed her money or something it was weird (laughs) it was insane i don't really remember but i i remember that show being a thing and being like this is the dumbest show Mm -hmm. i've ever heard of and then we watched the episode and i was like oh that's actually pretty pretty gripping yeah i mean it would be nice to like have the store owe you money when you go shopping yeah that would be cool you got a 53 and a 60. You can cheat. It's online. I did cheat. And you still got a 53 yes. and a 60. Your dad encouraging you to cheat. <laughs> That's, that, those are a family of winners right there. That just reminded me. Um, full disclosure, both my parents are teachers. And I was... Uh, oh, I'm saying this risking losing the respect of a lot of the teachers that I used to love, but I'm sure they knew. They always know. Mm -hmm. But I was telling my mom about how I used to, you know, use some websites that helped you understand literature and maybe instead of reading, actually. Um, (laughs) Sorry. Uh, But, yeah, I was telling my mom about how I used to do that. And she got mad at me. Not because, oh, that's unethical and you need to actually read. She was mad because because she was like, I wouldn't have gotten away with doing that when I was in school. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you actually like reading. So there's no reason for your mom to be mad at you if you try and read a book and it sucks and you don't want to read it. Like, screw that. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. School definitely ruined reading for me. I was that kid that could read, like, a full chapter book in, like, two days. Like, I used to get in trouble as a kid for staying up late Mm -hmm. and reading. I, I, 
I think I've read a to a grand total of like ten actual like books in my whole life. <laughs> I, I but don't get me wrong, I love to read. It's just like I I prefer technical documentation and you know the uh, code and news articles and stuff. That's what I read. There's a bit of an age difference between us. Was uh, Magic Treehouse after your time? I've never even heard of it. <clears throat> those were the you would have you would have liked those books. Would I? Yeah. If it has magic, it's fantasy, and I'm not into fantasy. But do you like history? Yeah. Okay, because it was two kids, Jack and Annie, and they found a magic treehouse. Uh, Morgan Le Fay from Camelot. She had the kids, was, you know, read actually, certain books and go yeah, back in time. They would, they sometimes they would read historical and stuff. She had books, books. Sometimes they would read One eternity later. And they were always really cool. Nice. You would have liked those. There's like a million books. Yeah. Those were my jam. I mean, I read a lot of children's books, but never like chapter books. Like, I've, I've, I think I've read like 10 novels. My favorite novel is uh, The Martian. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Matt Damon. Or is no. that Matthew McConaughey? No, it's Matt. No, it's Matt Damon in the movie, but the guy who wrote the book, I, don't know. I can't remember. But um, he's it's a really good book. It's a really good book. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, and you know what is my least favorite novel? Ready Player One. Ugh, nerd cache bullshit. I hate it. It makes me mad thinking about how much I hated that book. Speaking of books, our first day was at Barnes and Noble. Oh yeah, it was. I thought it was a Borders. No. It was actually at the coffee shop in the board in the book book bookstore. Yeah. I don't have words. And we didn't even get coffee. No, because it was like late at night. It was. That's true. Yeah. You want to watch the next one? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what my boyfriend does when I'm not around. Oh my god, dude! That makes that gives me an enormous amount of rage. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's definitely not what my boyfriend would do when I'm not around. What I do when you're not around is the same thing I do when you are around. I program and I make videos and that's about it. And I watch TV mm -hmm. and go for walks and cook. That's about all I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one thing to be like vain and take selfies of yourself, but it's a whole other level of mental disorder to take pictures of your cat, and then show your cat the picture you just took. That's awful, dude. That's awful. I hate that. All right, we're going, we're continuing here. I'm done. <laughs> um, quick question. Um, I just got my heart broken. What do you recommend? Tequila. <laughs> Tequila. Nice. So order these by accident. There's about a hundred in there. And everyone's been saying I should do the watermelon challenge. Um, but I'm thinking instead of a watermelon, I'm just going to use my head instead. <laughs> <laughs> that That is like the only one on here that's actually reminded me of a vine. I have a TikTok and I've just posted random crap on there. My most popular TikTok. Oh, that's my most popular TikTok. <laughs> what did you think it was? <laughs> I thought it was this one. Yeah. You forget it. You forget, dude. <laughs> you forget it. You forget, dude. I love that one. That is good. Yeah. Have you seen this one? Yes. I can't be the only one who's noticed this. This is The Mask, a movie made in 1994. He just woke up from a dream where his dog was licking his ear. And there's a frickin' jar of open peanut butter. <laughs> I can't be the only one. I like that. I I know what you're what you're doing there. What? But I I bet that was a production goof. And that that's how they got the dog to lick his ear in the shower. No. There's no way. Hey, Game of Thrones left a Starbucks cup in that no. one scene. No. Stuff happens. That's why there's a whole goof section on IMDb. <laughs>
I remember, like, in my adolescence, my dad discovered the goof section, and he would look up all the movies that he used to like, and then read all the goofs, and then he'd watch the movie to see if he could find them. Oh, wow. Love you, Dad. That sounds like a Steve thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. See, I pick up on a lot of movie goofs, like, just mm-hmm. as I'm watching it. Like, I'll see boom mics come into frame, like, up above, you know, I'll You've, you, I've pointed stuff out yeah. when I watch a movie. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wait, did you see that? Mm-hmm. You're like, no. See what? Yeah, sorry for trying to. And then I like, movie. and then I rewind it, and I'm like, see, and you're like, no. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I notice, you don't even like, you don't even notice. So now that we've gone off the rails and we stopped watching that YouTube video, uh, I think we might call that a, 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 a video for these fine folks. Yeah. We've taken up uh, enough of their time, right? <laughs> yeah, this will be fun to edit. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. As always, uh, we appreciate you being here. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, smash that subscribe button, even. And like that smash button. Don't tickle them, though. Tickle them no, both. No, no tickling. Tickle the, gently caress them. Until they toggle and then leave it alone after that. Bye.